Alrighty, hello internet once again. Um, I'm exceptionally well lit today, what happened? Uh, I'm downstairs in the same room as last time, but a uh, slightly different angle. Also, it sounds more echoey. Uh, I apologize in advance if it is super echoey. There's like a window over there that the cat, I don't know, she was hanging out there. She wants to, she's doing that thing that, you know, cats always do where they go, I wanna go out. Well, I don't know if I actually wanna go out. Whatever. Anyway, um, so this is a little earlier than a week, but this is a, a special weekend? I don't know. There's going to be exceptions all the time, right? If there's exceptions sometimes, then I don't know if there's exceptions all the time, it seems like. Um, which makes them not exceptions? Whatever. Anyway, today's a three-day weekend for me. Uh, the place I work at, uh, the, a lot of the products we sell are related to uh, stocks and, and options and things. Here's the cat. Um, and so when the stock market is closed, we are almost always closed. There's weird exceptions for reasons that don't entirely make sense to me, but whatever. Um, and uh, in addition, when we have a three-day weekend, because usually um, they're closed for all those funny, uh, like a ton of the um, government holidays are like the third Monday of September, or I don't even know, I don't think that's one of them, but you know, there's like the X Monday of some month is the, is, is the pattern for a lot of them. Um, and so we often have these three-day weekends, uh, holidays like Fourth of July and Christmas are, are infinitely frustrating for um, math, basically. <laughs> we have to do a lot of, we have to care about when the holidays land and those ones are more complicated. But anyway, I'm getting, uh, you, you know, this isn't the point. Also, Mia, 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 here's a cat. Okay, she, whatever, she's not gonna cooperate. Um, why would she, she's a cat. Uh, in fact, she's gonna, oh my God. Okay, sorry, hold on. <laughs> oh, come back later, Mia. Uh, so anyway, I've got a three-day weekend because uh, it's Memorial Day, and when we have those, again, which we tend to do because of the Soul Monday thing, uh, we get off early on Fridays. So I got off work a couple hours early, and now I'm home. Uh, and I actually stopped by uh, a cafe on the way and like did just a little bit of work. Uh, I had a new version of the of the three-chapter sample thing that I've linked to before, but it's it's always going to be it's always going to be in the link in the in the in the in the description or doobly doo or the. I should just point and not say anything. That seems like a thing too. So anyway, uh, the description, the link is down there in, in that description box. Uh, but but anyway, let's talk about the thing I actually wanted to talk about. Which um, two things? I'll definitely post another video update near the end of this weekend to kind of talk about everything that I have done this weekend. But uh, what have I done this weekend, or what am I going to do this weekend? I have a plan. So last weekend, I attempted to write the end of the book, and as I yeah, I mentioned, I was really inspired by the end of this. Um, particular TV show. I thought it wrapped up just like perfectly, frustratingly, wonderfully. Um, yeah, that's a proper, sorry, kicking a chair. Um, yeah, so I, I, I sat down and I started typing all the stuff, blah, blah, blah. I got into things like, oh, it would be interesting if, if this thing happens. Like, oh, we could have this like exciting thing happen. And as I was writing, I was like, oh, this really doesn't fit for the end. I'm accidentally writing like this, um, I don't want to say like like action, but it, but it wasn't it wasn't a character moment, which is what it, what the ending should be. It was more of this like a crazy event is happening um, that's going to have some some interesting repercussions. And I was like, what? Well, well, this can't be at the end. This is nonsense. I've done a terrible job, right? I failed at writing the ending, um, but I liked what I had written, uh, other than the fact that it didn't work for the ending. Um, so I found a place. It was really it worked out perfectly. The, there was a particular pair of characters together at that time, um, and. Uh, I had another moment earlier in the book where they're also hanging out individually and I hadn't quite finished like writing that, that section out. So I went, okay, perfect. I'll just kind of slot this thing that I wrote at the end that didn't really work and, and put it in, in the middle. Was that, that was kind of wonky. Anyway, sorry. Um, so uh, yeah, that's what I did. And it ended up taking a bit of time. <laughs> like I had to, I have this calendar of, of, of events that, that happen, which I don't know, that's an interesting thing. I, I think mostly no one is going to notice if a week is 10 days or three days, right? In, in, in a book or even a TV show or a movie, right? You just have like cut and now there's school or there's not, or there's work or there's not, or whatever. It's, it's the weekend or it's not, and who cares? No one is counting, right? Um, but I, I guess just to kind of keep things organized for me, I wanted to know, you know, there's a number of different characters and I want to know what are they doing? How long has it been since we last, you know, saw that character, air quotes. Um, you know, like, has it been four days? Has it been a week? Has it been just, just one day? You know, because that kind of tells me when we interact with that character again in the book, how much have they been up to? Again, has it only been a day or has it been a whole week? You know, that, that's an important difference. That's a, that's a, a lot can, can have happened in a week. Um, and I don't know, again, I, I kind of wonder, I'd be really curious to go back and watch more things and see, like, 
try and see if I can derive a calendar and see if it makes any sense for, for that, whatever it is, book, a TV show, movie. Um, my sense is that these things aren't kept track of, but maybe they are, and it probably varies. So, so anyway, I might be worrying about it too much is what I'm saying. But anyway, um, as, a, as a side effect of that, when I went back to slot this thing, it was important that it happened on a weekend, basically. Um, and the other event I had was on a Sunday, but I was like, well, then the next day is a Monday, and then all this stuff is gonna happen, and that's too soon. So I had to like rearrange some things. Uh, but it was actually very useful to do. So what, what ended up happening is something I've kind of been envious of in, in other things that I feel like my book doesn't have a lot of and I've been trying to kind of rework some. It's just having like random different characters. You know, when you've got like, I feel like I should know the number of characters in my own book, but I don't. But there, there, there's, a, there's a small number, let's say, um, smaller than uh, the, the show that, that inspired me. And in that show, there's a lot of instances where it's like, oh, now it's these two characters hanging out who maybe don't normally hang out. Um, and because they don't normally hang out, it's, it's an interesting and unique situation. Where it's like, oh, those two characters are talking about their lives in ways that they wouldn't with other people. You know, and then maybe you have like these, this, these two characters who, who usually hang out, but there's like the third character in there who you don't usually isn't with there. And so there's just a lot of opportunities when you have all those different characters for interesting interactions that then you can learn more about the characters. I can learn more about it as I write them. I'm like, oh, what would they talk about, you know? Um, how do they really feel about each other? Uh, you know, they're not usually in this situation. Is it awkward for them or is it not or, or whatever? So it was just an interesting, um, also sorry if I'm gross, it was really hot outside and I was walking. Uh, I, I walked to and from work. Um, it's nice out, but it's also very hot. Uh, anyway, I was just nosing because my hair looks a little whatever. You know, let's not focus on that. Um, so, <laughs> what I'm getting at, uh, because I had to rearrange some of those things chronologically, I just like kind of swapped two days, rearranged events, it ended up that I was like, oh, these two characters are going to be going back, um, and just the nature of the setting, there aren't a lot of transportation options, it, it is a colony not on Earth, yeah, I can say that because that's revealed in the three chapters. Um, they're on Venus, right? So there's a number of these these stations and, and the transportation options are, are kind of limited. I don't know what the exact schedule is that I have not worried about um, figuring out. I don't, I don't think that level of detail is important. Um, but I was like, okay, now because I've rearranged this, these two characters are gonna be heading back to the same place. They would probably run into each other, right? Like like on this, on this little shuttle. Um, unexpected, right? They've never, and then I realized there's never been a moment where these two characters have been together in person. Um, there's a lot of messaging um, and a little, and VR stuff that's also in the, in the, um, that all makes it sound so sci-fi, but I promise it's not. Not, or maybe you love sci-fi and you're like, ooh, there's more sci-fi than I thought. Um, but, but if you don't, then sure, be, be fooled. You are fooled because there really isn't that much of, of the, of the sci-fi elements that aren't like lasers and aliens and shit. And it's just like, Again, it's about people who are in a weird situation, right? That's part of the whole growing up slice of life angle that, 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 that the book has. Um, so anyway, yeah, it was, it was neat that as a result of, you know, I started to write this ending, it wasn't appropriate for the ending, I moved it somewhere else that forced me to rearrange some other things, which kind of forced these other two characters together that weren't going to be originally in the same place at the same time. Therefore, they had one of these interesting dialogues that I've been envious of other things for having those more because there are more characters and then just more relationships going on. Um, that, that, you know, would, yeah, that, that yeah, that, that can interact in interesting ways. I don't know. I, I don't really know how to describe it. Um, so anyway, so I got one of those moments, is, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, the downside is that I'm no closer to writing the book. Um, upside is more words. Is that good? I guess so. Um, but I was really hoping to, to finish it. So I was a little disappointed that I didn't. But anyway, it's this three day weekend now. I'm going to attempt to, again, write an ending. Uh, and we'll see what happens. I, and I guess I'll let you know. That was a really funny face. No, I want to try it again. Um, so, so anyway, yeah, uh, that, that's what I'm going to do this weekend. And that's not going to take all weekend. I have a three-day weekend. I mean, I'm also going to hang out with some friends and blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, that's what's going to happen. So uh, again, I'll post another video and, and I guess I'll let you know how it went. Um, and yeah, that's it. I, I've got nothing else to talk about, so I'll stop dilly-dallying. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope that you'll uh, watch the next one.